Question 8. In this shape, one of the angles is obtuse. Now, just to remind you that obtuse means greater than 90 degrees, but it is less than 180 degrees. So we're looking for an angle that's bigger than 90 degrees. Now, we've got four angles to choose from, but what I suggest you do, if you can't just spot it, and some of you will just be able to spot it, is to check by using something that has got right angles on it. So for example, you may have access to tracing paper during your SATS test, and your tracing paper will probably be in a rectangle shape. So if you get a rectangle shape like this here, and it will be see-through, so you'll be able to check to see if it works. So you can see if I put this in the corner here, you can see that the angle inside the shape is actually smaller than this right angle. So if it's smaller than the right angle, that angle must be acute. Down here in the bottom right corner we can see that the tracing paper fits exactly in this corner. If it fits exactly then it must be 90 degrees. It must be exactly a right angle. So that one must be 90 or in other words a right angle. If we go to the top corner over here and just slightly rotate that so that it fits there you can see that this angle inside here is much less than the 90 degrees so that also must be acute now so far we haven't found anything that's obtuse so that would lead you to believe by elimination that the only angle left must be obtuse but obviously we're going to check it so let's slightly rotate that so that it fits on there like so and you can see that if we get a pen then this here would be the 90 degrees but then we've also got this extra bit here and the extra bit would take it over 90 degrees and if it's over 90 degrees but still less than 180 degrees it is going to be obtuse so that is the angle that you need to tick. So just get rid of that and we are in a position now to tick that angle. So that is the angle that needs to be ticked.